Hey guys, it's Ross Scott on the Space Couch set. I've pulled this out of the depths of my library. 21st century jet, the making of the Boeing 777. Just 777, not Dash 200 or Dash 300 or any of that because there was only one iteration of that plane. And I've had this, let's see, this came out when I was working in the bookstore in Colchester and that was around about 1995. Plane went into service around about 1994. So yeah, about 25 years I've had this. So let's see what it says. From coffee cup holder to 200 foot wing, this book is the story of how a group of people came to build a brand new aeroplane in a gamble to keep the Boeing company in the large airliner market. The plane is the 777 now going into service on some of the world's longest and most congested routes. As passengers step into the plane, they will be unaware of the trials and tribulations over the new metal alloy that was never used the engine that surged, the rudder whose design changes made the Australians cheesed off to the blazers, and the pride of the chief engineer when his team designed the quietest closing lavatory seat of any airliner. And there's other stuff like that. So, let's see, there are some pictures in here. I'll just slip it out of this dust jacket just to make it a bit easier. I remember when I read this, it was very technical. Let's just see. See how pristine that is? Because it's never been out of the dust jacket. So a lot of it was above my head. So there you just see an illustration of one of the passenger doors. And then the horizontal stabiliser. Where are these pictures? Oh, there's illustrations throughout. There's one of the engines. The ETOPS, you know, extended twin operations or engines turning or passenger swimming. This is a map of basically, um, depending on what the hour rule is, you see here, it's a lot more restrictive. Here, there's a lot more coverage. If it's one, two or three hours flying time, uh, here are the pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit of old 3D modelling there. It looks like something out of Max Headroom. And it would have been that far off that time period either. There's a guy who's one of the chief pilots. John Cashman. Oh, this is old. These are stuck. Under construction. Ah, oh, yes. The um, 80s, 90s Boeing house livery. That was on the 757 and the 767 as well. As the 300, uh, the sorry, the 737 300, and it's uh, what's it, the next generation, I think the 345 and 600 or whatever it was. So, yes, there's that, and you see the crowd celebrating everyone there. Let's see, there it's doing the tail um, strike tests, there's the unveiling. I loved that United Battleship Grey livery. I thought it was just very, very attractive. I remember when I was coming back from a year in the US. It was a uh, from Chicago. It went via New York. Same plane service. Um, it was a 767-300. And it had been a Dash 200 on the way out. Um, but I was a bit miffed because we were still in the original Tulip livery. You know, of the white fuselage and the cheat line. Whereas the plane that was at the gate next to us that was going to Paris and Athens... That had the new livery, and I did feel a little bit jealous. And there, uh, you see it take off, and there it is in flight. What else do we have in here? Any other pics? Uh, not even that many uh, illustrations through the rest of the... T oh, what's this? Oh, what's this I've found? Gatwick to Newcastle on the 28th of December who knows what year though if I was using that as something in here this is 20 years old 
um, BA8078, gate G9, boarding time 1735, seat 9D. Wow. And a little bit of airline memorabilia. So if you know uh, 8078, when that would have been operating, I'm trying to think, oh, what would that be? Can't even remember flying on BA from Gatwick, but I suppose I must have done. Anyway, a little diversion there. Um, uh, yes, but that is about it. There's not really any other further illustrations. It's just like charts like this, for instance. What's that measuring? Baselines for different measurements during manufacturing of plane. Oh, uh, it's meaningless. So anyway, I'll just pop that back in its dust jacket. But I did enjoy this. I struggled with this book because it is a very technical book. Kind of like the comic book is as well. Um, whereas something like, say, the BOIC history... It's basically it's almost like um, a collection of essays on different topics almost. That's almost how it's been written. But anyway, guys, that's just a little look at 21st Century Jet, the making of the 777. This plane's actually been phased out now and has been replaced by the 777X, the, um, the Dash 8 and the Dash 9, with those amazing folding wingtips. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this brief little look at a blast from the aviation past. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a comment topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.